in the stuff we need to create a Jenkins job install to install some packages so click on Jenkins over here once you do that you can enter username as admin and password is this one Oops, sorry that's admin I missed the remaining part. So once you sign into it, we need to create a job name to install packages. Then we need to add a parameter string. Then we need to install uh, packages on storage server. So in order to access storage server from Jenkins, we need to have we need to have a uh, we need to have a plugin that helps us to connect to the server so we can use SSH uh, plugin so so first uh, click on manage Jenkins then click on manage plugins uh, look for available plugins uh, type SSH okay yes check this download now and uh, install just check this box so this is going to install SSH plugin so once we are done with that then we can uh, uh, do the remaining part so copy this one install packages so let's refresh this page it seems it's gonna take a while It's restarting now. Just look for credentials. So click on over here. So we need a storage server. That's all. That's all this one. Okay. Okay, it's been restarted now. So once you come to this uh, Jenkins dashboard, come on. It seems that the Jenkins server is restarting. Come on. Okay, it's been now. Now click on uh, create a job. Make sure to uh, type the exact name with iPhone and uh, in order to succeed this job, we need to have the exact name with the case sensitive. So, copy this again. Freestyle job, click on OK. So, we need to run, uh, we need to install packages on storage server. So, we need to have those credentials. So, if I come back here, uh, this is the storage server with the username Natasha, and this is the password this is uh, a host name so once you're done with this freestyle job come on let me open a new tab okay click on save that's fine so click on manage Jenkins again We can we can finish this task within few minutes but because of this uh, slower server it's going to take a bit longer 
okay once you come over here look click on traditions system global credentials then uh, click on add credentials so I'm gonna need username and password in order to access this server so I'm gonna stick with username with password global that's fine give username as Natasha and paste the password I hope I've copied the right one okay that's fine then you can give here the name to identify store a server you can name it anything click on create okay maybe yeah that looks fine so come back to your job again click on configure now uh, we need to install uh, we need to run uh, some uh, you know because we need to run this script on remote server so you can choose execute shell script on remote server we got this option because we installed that sss plugin click on over here okay here we don't have any so for that jump back to this main Jenkins again and uh, configure system click on so if you scroll down here you could see SSH site so uh, click on add host name that's stst01 this is the one you can put IP as well if you want just stick I'm, I'm gonna stick with this uh, host name then port number 22 that works and then we need to we just told the created these credentials choose this one and if you want to make sure that just click on check connection come on let me click on save just go back to manage Jenkins again just to make sure that connection was established configure system just click on check connection again yeah it's a successful connection now that's been done then come back to your job again just save it just refresh it click on configure now so now what you can do okay this one is fine we need to run a command but before that uh, we need to create a, a string it's a string parameter package that's in all caps then here we can uh, see that uh, yeah here this para this project is parameter click on that then click on add parameter string name package if you want to give a default value you can give i can just give a test say okay i'm sorry i forgot to uh, put this so in order to install that so i know that uh that story server uh, works on uh, centos so here on the command description you can type oh, yum install I am from Y because that's a command line so we we can't we need to put Y so that's gonna it's automatically yes then we need to give that variable in package so in order to run this you have to be a sudo user otherwise you can't install anything so to, to, to do that you can type echo and uh, put the password that's the password for Natasha this is the one password in single quotes then pipe it then, then run sudo iphone capital s then run this command so this one is going to run as a sudo once it runs as sudo it's going to ask for the password so we are supplying password in the command line itself that looks fine so let's save it so what i'm going to do i'm going to ssh into this server now 
so it is jump post ssh natasha st st war zero you don't need to do that but just i just want to uh, prove that we can so if i do system ctl status ngilx on storage server it says unit uh, nginx service couldn't be found so if i if i run the job with the engine so i'm going to install nginx on the server storage server with the job now so what i'm gonna do click on build with parameters then i'm gonna give the package name as nginx and click on build so this job is building now once it is done that means uh, on the storage server it install nginx because that's for that's the package we gave, we given so if i do status again once i'm done with the job if it is successful i can see i can see something else other than this error that means that jenkins has been installed let's see okay so i'm still building maybe you can check the logs uh, it seems it's uh, pulling up the details so it's downloading packages and it seems installing it let's see okay it says complete and successful if i uh, come back here if i run the same command again now you can see the status inactive so that means that engineering service has been installed even you can uh, check it here the build it's, it was successful so that's a simple thing you can install any package if you want to install something else click on build a parameter then you can uh, supply your uh, package name php even you can install stdp let's see yeah that's been installed and check the logs okay let's check the task results now click on check definitely it's going to be successful it's been successful thank you for watching